Welcome to Amal Jaiswal's YouTube channel. In my last video, we had spoken about the exposure triangle. Today, we will be talking about the first part of the exposure triangle, which is shutter speed. Shutter is the curtain which is in front of the sensor. When it opens, the light goes into the camera and hits the sensor. When the camera is idle, the shutter is closed. The shutter speed is the duration for which the curtain is open. It is also the duration for which the sensor is exposed to light. The amount of light which is going into the sensor depends upon how fast or slow the shutter speed is. The faster the shutter speed, the lesser the light goes into the sensor. The slower the shutter speed, the more the light goes into the sensor. If you are using a slow shutter speed, you should always use a tripod because they can be a handshake and which will show in your photograph. For a fixed ISO and the aperture, different shutter speeds will give you different types of photographs which can vary from being overexposed and underexposed. Shutter speed can be used to create special effects like freeze frame and blur motion. You can see that when the shutter speed is slow, the object which is moving is blurred and as we decrease the time, the object becomes absolutely clear and still. As you can see from my photographs, the first photograph in which the time is long, the object is blurred. As I have reduced the time, the object becomes clear and still. A good photograph does not depend only on a good shutter speed. It also depends on ISO and aperture. In my next video, I will be talking about aperture. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe.